Hey everybody, Tony D with a final video, a screenwriter's rant. I know, usually I do some headlines. There's not a lot of good headlines tonight. I think I'm just going to pass on the political stuff. It's just, sometimes it's too much, you know? Uh, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Also follow me on BitChute and Rumble because YouTube. Anyhow, uh, this movie's called The Paper Tigers, and it's an interesting martial arts movie because it ha it's about a group of guys. They call themselves the Paper Tigers, and they studied under a, uh, uh, a Sifu, who was a Kung Fu sensei. Sifu is what they call uh, the Kung Fu guys. So... Um, they were trained, and this is a different kind of art, martial arts movie. Uh, they got a little out of hand with some of their fighting, beating guys up. Um, and uh, th they were all friends, though. They got, they got out of hand. Now it's 30 years later, and they're back together, and they're older. Um, and they still get into fights, but now that they're older, uh, they're not as, as good at it. So... It's kind of an interesting, it's kind of like an old Kung Fu guy movie, uh, which I find intriguing. And uh, they get together again when they find out their old master has died. Um, and they didn't know, and they go to the funeral, and they reconnect with some of the old guys in the dojo. I don't know if they call it a dojo in Kung Fu. Um, and... Uh, uh, this guy's funny because he he speaks, um, I guess it's Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. Kung Fu's Chinese. And um, <laughs> they the other guys chastise him, like, just speak English. Uh, so he's like an Asian file, right? Like he's really into the whole, whole Asian milieu. So they come back and they start training again, but they're real rusty and he gets beat up and you know they used to be great, but now they're now they're all schlubs, and uh, so they start training again because uh, they they uh, uh, suspect that their old master was killed, perhaps poisoned, uh, or or there was some sort of uh, magic kung fu hit that poisoned him, and. Uh, so this is the wife of one of the guys, and she's like, why are you guys doing this? Why, why must you always fight? So like, there's a lot of history here, and that's, that's what I like about the movie. It's not just that they're older, and I can relate to that, but um, it's always great to have a ton of history on your characters because you can draw from that during the course of the movie, and it makes the world feel very full. Um, you know, and this this is a cool character. The the white guy who's really into Asian stuff who's really good at kung fu, still training, and here they are in a flashback. Um, so this this looks really cool. So these guys, you know, they're 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 fighting some young rivals. Uh, here's a guy who who wants to join them, but he's sort of like a amateur. Um, so who made this movie? Written and directed by Tron Kwok Bao. Uh, hmm. Well go, well go USA Entertainment. Not sure if that would be an American company, because I think a lot of times um, when you've got the foreign market, the distributors will give themselves a name like that so they can get into the American market. Um. Because there seems to be a lot of Asian uh, people in the mix. And the movie doesn't seem... To, it looks like it takes place in America. So this may have been produced by uh, a Chinese outfit. Or Asian. At least an Asian outfit. But I, I think it looks good. I gotta say. Um, and I like the message, you know. The old guys get together and they have to uh, uh, protect, or not protect, because he's dead, but to avenge their old master. So the first act, you know, it's uh, them back in the day, and they train. Um, 
and for whatever reason they they go astray they they get into trouble um, and then uh, it's 30 years later now they're all out of it they've all got lives um, and for some reason they get back together I think probably because of the funeral so then the second act they go to the funeral uh, you know their old ways start to come back they they reconnect with some of their old friends they end up back at the old dojo and uh, they start to you know think about maybe working out again you know get back in the shape and fighting again uh, but they're very reluctant but then they they get the message that maybe their old master was killed and they can't let that go he was a great he was great to them and they all feel that they let him down that, which is a great sort of hook and uh, so they decide to do their own investigation but of course they're not very good they're not detectives and uh, I also like that it's very appealing about the characters they're just regular guys who were in the martial arts for a while and now you know they're struggling to uh, get back into it so they get back into it they retrain while they're hunting down you know their the potential murderer or whatever and then the third act they probably find them and uh have some sort of confrontation or possibly not like this kind of movie the tone of it wasn't super serious so i could also see it ending with them realizing that no he he wasn't murdered and um he just had a heart attack and they're, they're, they, they put it in their, their own head that they had to avenge him because they feel bad for letting him down. So they gin up their own kind of uh, adventure story, but really it wasn't to avenge him. It was to make themselves feel good about you know, letting him down. And then maybe they come to terms to that. That that could be a, a really interesting twist. Wouldn't be a, as exciting as a big martial arts fight at the end, but you could still probably have one. You still come up with a, a way, you know. They they hunt down the guy, and they, he's like, oh, I, I didn't kill him, like, you know, and they, they find that proof, and then, you know, they, they have the realization, but then the guy's mad that they followed him around and fights him anyway. <laughs> So uh, it, it's a little bit of comedy in there too, not a lot. So uh, yeah, it's kind of a different martial arts movie. I, I haven't seen one like this. Maybe there's been one before. So I find that interesting. So The Paper Tigers out in 2021. We got a date now. So uh, yeah, probably a direct video thing. I would look, look for it in a digital download situation. Um, and that's it. For tonight, we'll see you tomorrow.